Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Reporters attack over Iran, so Trump unleashes their worst nightmare on live TV. President Donald Trump held an official press briefing in the East Room of the White House on Tuesday, announcing his decision to withdraw the United States from the deeply flawed Iran nuclear deal. Almost instantaneously, reporters began to attack him over the move, which will unravel the very cornerstone of former President Barack Obama's foreign policy. This prompted Trump to unleash their worst nightmare on live TV. President Donald Trump announced on Tuesday that the U.S. will withdraw from the Iran nuclear agreement, which the Obama administration reached in 2015 between the U.S., Russia, China, Iran, and three European nations, France, Germany, and Britain. The agreement, the cornerstone of Obama's foreign policy legacy, lifted most international and U.S. sanctions that were on Iran in exchange for the regime agreeing to restrictions on its nuclear program and inspections to enforce compliance. Trump slammed the agreement, saying, this was a horrible, one-sided deal that should have never, ever been made. He added, the Iran deal is defective at its core. Citing intelligence surrounding Iran's past nuclear activities which Israel unveiled last week, the president also claimed there is definitive proof that Iran violated the deal. Of course, Democrats spent the day fear-mongering in the media and criticizing President Trump for this decision. After the president signed the executive order, the press immediately attacked him, asking how he believed the move would make America safer. Trump calmly put down his paper, pointed at the insolent reporters, and said something that stopped them dead in their tracks, this will make America much safer. Thank you very much. Of course, former President Barack Obama, who got us into this mess with Iran in the first place, was not happy as he watched the signature accomplishment of his presidency unravel. Obama called Trump's decision to pull out of the deal a serious mistake and so misguided. Claiming that Iran is complying with the agreement, Obama said that walking away from it turns our back on America's closest allies, according to CBS News. The reality is clear. The JCPOA is working, that is a view shared by our European allies, independent experts, and the current U.S. Secretary of Defense, Obama said in a statement Tuesday referring to the agreement's title, The Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action. The JCPOA is in America's interest, it has significantly rolled back Iran's nuclear program. And the JCPOA is a model for what diplomacy can accomplish, its inspections and verification regime is precisely what the United States should be working to put in place with North Korea, he furthered. That was not simply the view of my administration, Obama said. The United States intelligence community has continued to find that Iran is meeting its responsibilities under the deal, and has reported as much to Congress. So have our closest allies, and the international agency responsible for verifying Iranian compliance, the International Atomic Energy Agency IAEA. We all know the dangers of Iran obtaining a nuclear weapon, Obama added. It could embolden an already dangerous regime, threaten our friends with destruction, pose unacceptable dangers to America's own security and trigger an arms race in the world's most dangerous region. If the constraints on Iran's nuclear program under the JCPOA are lost, we could be hastening the day when we are faced with the choice between living with that threat, or going to war to prevent it. And that, my friends, is what they call fear-mongering. For far too long, the U.S. has been far too lenient on nations like Iran which threaten the safety of Western countries around the world. After eight years of Barack Obama's pussyfooting around, Effectively emboldening rogue regimes, it was high time that someone took a hard-line stance like the one President Trump has taken. The U.S. is once again a force to be reckoned with. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.